What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, still having webcam issues, I haven't even bothered to try and fix it between seasons, so if I did my webcam, then you wouldn't be able to hear my voice. Uh, so, <laughs> that sucks, I know. I'll figure it out eventually. I promise I'll actually try and do something about it this time. But anyways, Nathan Drake versus Laura Croft. I am so excited for this one. Oh, this is much better than Season 3. This is such a hype matchup. Instead of something obvious like Flash vs. Quicksilver, or something that could only end horribly like Deadpool vs. Pinkie Pie, or something that's like super controversial like Hulk vs. Doomsday, just a nice... Clean, hype matchup that everyone wanted to see. Nathan Drake versus Lara Croft. Ah! Tomb Raider versus Uncharted. Um, I myself am a huge PlayStation guy. I prefer PlayStation so much, and Nathan Drake is more PlayStation right now than Lara Croft is. Um, but, you know, I'm going to go with Lara Croft anyways because I just know her better than Nathan Drake, and she's cooler, and and um, um, I'm going to do the shallow thing because um, she's hot. So yeah, let's get started with this death battle because Lara Croft is hot. Okay, three, two, one, go. This episode of death battle is brought and I'm a little tripped out because the, I, I missed the episode at first because the thumbnail was all different. So that's why it's taking a bit longer for my reaction to be uploaded. The, <clears throat> it tripped me out. I was like, what? Wait, where, where's the death battle? But there it is. It's not like this red cage match like font or anything. It's just this very basic white text. And then just this white streak down the middle. And it really weirded me out. But let's see. Oh yeah, there we go. Alright, that's that's cool. I was worried at first. At first it was gonna I thought at first it was gonna be very, very basic. But they have a new theme that's really cool. And I mean new theme as in visuals, not in music, because they still have the same music. I mean, they can't chase, change their theme song. This is Death Battle. I know the song's called Invader, but this, this is Death Battle. Oh, it's like some graffiti on a garage door or something. I like that theme. I like that theme a lot. I'm trying to describe the theme better. It's like... I don't know, it's like Double Dragon, like in the background when, they, when you'd see like spray paint on a garage. Or Double Dragon, is that what I'm thinking about? I can't remember what game I'm thinking about. But there's like some old super beat-em-up that has like graffiti everywhere on a garage. That's what it looks like. It looks like some old video game graffiti, basically. I like that theme. I'm glad they didn't steal my whole universe outer space theme from my versus show. <laughs> Alright, now let's actually pay attention. Whatever Tomb Raider timeline you're looking at, whether it's on an island or the Himalayas, Lara's mm -hmm. destined to this life-changing fate. I'm never getting on a plane with her. Surprisingly, Lara's experience... <laughs> she sucks at plane flying. ...traumatized. Instead, she was inspired, hooked by the thrill of perilous adventure. So she struck out on her own, seeking lost treasure mm -hmm. across the globe to make a name for herself. But Lara's no fool, so first she made sure she'd be ready for anything. She, she has a very big name. She could find to learn her the ways of stealth, survival, and martial To learn her the ways. I like that English boomstick. And her martial arts Please learn me the ways of fighting. Kickboxing. Oh, great teacher. So she's basically Batman, who treasure And she could fight dinosaurs. And push gigantic rocks. For her trademark dual Heckler and Koch pistols. And I'm not talking about the things under her sweater. But she's also skilled with shotguns, assault rifles, submachine guns, even grenades. And she uses them to take down everything from armed thugs to T Rexes. Yes! Lara is also skilled with dinosaurs! Perfect for stealth kills. And she's yeah. good enough I'm gonna move my microphone a bit. She's got fire arrows, poison arrows, explosive tipped arrows, so many arrows. arrows for crossing gaps or grappling things. And while her climbing axe is supposed to be used for scaling up cliffs, they always fall. What the thing does to a human skull. Oh, wait, you don't have to. Watch. Gruesome <laughs> 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 murder aside, mm. Lara's those things are used to claw into mountains. Of course, a human skull wouldn't survive. The Philosopher's Stone, the Ark of the Covenant. Ooh, you're not supposed to let that thing touch the ground, lady. Whom she also promptly killed. Suck it, Sasquatch. 
I know all about the Ark of the Covenant. Dragon, a Chinese dragon, and she even found the long-lost Led Zeppelin song, Stairway to Heaven. <laughs> no, 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 she found a literal stairway to heaven. Really? Holy shit! For a 132-pound woman, she's <laughs> Dude! Strong. She's held up a heavy... There's like some Looney Tunes stuff right there. ...while drowning. She also regularly pushes around enormous boulders, mm -hmm. like the giant blocks in the Pyramid of Giza. This makes her Giza. strong enough to Giza. a man through a wooden beam. Lara's also a crack shot. She can precisely tag multiple targets in less than a second, even if they're button-sized bolts or kunai flying through the air. Pew, pew, pew. She's enough to infiltrate and escape Area 51. She's tenacious enough to take a bullet in the heat of battle and keep fighting. Mm -hmm. And she's tough enough to dive off Noth a 250 Nothing ever hurts Lara Croft. I mean, yeah, it hurts her, but she doesn't feel it. She apparently has no nervous system, apparently. But unlike Lara, this driver underwent weeks of preparation and still broke his collarbone. Ow. Ugh. Oh, that just sounds painful. Like, out of all the bones in your body to break, I just feel like the collarbone would be the worst. Oh, cause that like, that like holds everything together. Your shoulders are like attached to it, your head's on top of it, then your ribs are hanging under it. Oh, I hate it. That's why I'm always super protective of my collarbone. That just sounds, oh. Sounds like the worst. I don't know, the knee also sounds pretty bad too, because if you like bang your knee on something, it just hurts the worst. Like knees and elbows, knees, elbows, and collarbone, those always sound like the worst bones to break. <laughs> those PlayStation tricks. Oh. All sorts of horrific <laughs> <mistakes>. <laughs> no Sorry, I can't handle gore that well. Keep her from any Surprisingly, I could play Mortal Kombat just fine, though. Take it off. Don't you think you've seen enough? No. No. <laughs> no. Magna. To most people, these words hold little meaning, but for globe-trotting explorer Nathan, uh, there he is. Motto. Greatness. There's Small Nate beginnings. the Great. And beginnings don't get much smaller than his. Little Nate spent half his childhood in a boy's home, where he was raised by nuns, picked on by bullies, and pretty much just hated on for every second of his life. <laughs> Nathan found Ooh, hiccups. In his fascination with history, particularly the and he played Crash Bandicoot with his girlfriend. Francis Drake. And like his idol, Nathan dreamed of one day escaping the orphanage to go on treasure hunts of his own. And he did sure, Sir Francis Drake. The treasure? Their dead mom I know it's a super old name, but Drake just doesn't sound like an old person name. I don't know why. Obviously not wanting to be caught trespassing and standing over a dead woman when the police arrived, Nathan began a life on the run. Talk about shitty luck. Man, all he wanted was a book. <laughs> Nathan seemed born for the treasure hunter's life. He's exceptionally athletic, has encyclopedic historical knowledge, and can find a way out of almost any bad situation with his quick wit. Oh, that, sure that looked like it hurt. Would remember the name, Nathan Drake. One remember the name, Nathan Drake. Former Navy officer turned <clears throat> Oh, I hope the OST isn't like copyrighted or anything, because that's really loud. Good thing too, because it seems like everybody out there wants to take a shot at Nate. He almost always has a 45 defender or 9 mm -hmm. millimeter pistol on hand, as well as a couple grenades. Nate can rack up the body count with just about any weapon he needs, Oh yeah. Including machine guns, shotguns, he kills a lot of people. I do know that much. Lots of casualties. You gotta become a one-man army yourself. Ready for anything, Nathan set out to follow in his idol's footsteps, and then some. <coughs> He's discovered five lost civilizations, stopped multiple world-ending threats, and even unlocked the secret of El Dorado like Sir Francis Drake before him. Yeah, mm. turns out it's not a city of gold, just a dead guy that turns people into zombies. Ugh. Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> anyway, Nate wouldn't have done any of those things if he weren't physically fit for the job. He's strong enough to move boulders twice his size mm -hmm. and hold up a four-ton gate for four seconds. Still not as good as Lara Croft's boulder pushing her gate holding. I still think she's gonna win. Humongous gaps without needing a running start. They needed to. They needed to get someone to hold. 
PS Vita. to make a 19 foot jump from a standstill. 19 feet, and he's always clearing similar jumps throughout his adventures. <laughs> not good as not as good as Mr. Incredible. I've already analyzed Mr. Incredible before. Constantly falling dozens of feet and just shaking. Mr. Incredible's got that 44 feet. A 40 foot belly flop and got right back up like it was nothing. That could kill a normal guy. Nathan Drake is nothing if not determined. When he found himself cornered on a train and bleeding out from a bullet wound, his solution was to simply blow the whole thing to oblivion. What a convenient pile of propane tanks. But of <laughs> course, he survived the crash and even climbed to safety, despite having no way of knowing he'd get out of this whole mess alive at all. <laughs> all that, look what he's wearing. It's freezing up there. Actually, explosions generally seem to be his exit of choice. Like when he blew up a cargo plane while flying over Saudi Arabia. After surviving <laughs> Saudi Arabia, just an endless <laughs> desert. <laughs> just nothing but sand. That's Saudi Arabia. Why can't it just be the desert in Egypt or something? But no, it's Saudi Arabia. It's filled with sand. That's because Saudi Arabia is actually filled with sand. I don't think it looks quite like that, though. I'm sure there's a building or two every thousand kilometers. This man rarely, if ever, has a plan for anything at any point. <laughs> Improv! Every moment of his life, whether or luck. In or out of danger, Nathan's philosophy insists that he simply roll with whatever punches come his way. When it comes down to it, much of his survivability can be chalked up to an abundance of good Dumb luck. And also his incredible knack for improvising and adapting. Lucky or not, hundreds if not thousands of bad guys have tried to beat him to some treasure and <laughs> It's good on <laughs> <if you laughs> that, go that just looks funny. Break, you're not just gonna lose that treasure. You're gonna lose your life. What the hell did you do back there? Oh, well, you know. Save the world. <laughs> sure. All right, the Ooh, Lara Croft! I'm still going for Lara. Once and for all. Lara Croft. I'm gonna tell you how to I can't stand it when people say Lara Croft. Lara. Lara Croft. It's Lara Croft. Not Laura Croft or Lara Croft. Lara Croft. Oh boy, flowers. I love me some flowers. Then select the delivery date and Pro Flowers will deliver them. Plus the flowers are guaranteed to That's what I like when doing a death battle. Flowers! Your wallet right now? Well, good news. As a death battle viewer, you can get two dozen assorted roses with a free glass. Yeah, because that's something a guy like me who watches death battle totally has. A girlfriend. Or if you want to go the extra mile, upgrade the delivery to two dozen long stemmed roses with free premium vase and chocolate for an additional $9.99. So head to proflowers.com, click the microphone in the upper right hand corner, and enter promo code death battle. But right now, it's time for a death <laughs> I'm sure I could feed that to my weird dog thing. Oh, it looks so good. Torian, my man. Damn, it's cold up here. Okay, let's try. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> gotcha. Walk slowly. Stop. Oh, snap. Turn around. Oh, there slowly. she is. There she is. There she is. Ah, crap. Ah, uh, her model looks so good. Uh, I'm guessing the whole finder's cute <clears throat> isn't going to apply. Cut the chit chat. The grail's coming with you. Yes. Me. Either walk away or die right here. Choose wisely. Oh, no fair. Don't walk away. Oh, well, at least Lara's, Lara, uh, <coughs> Lara's a good shot. Ugh. I had to get up there. It's because I was pointing out how much I hate it when people call her Lara, and then I ended up accidentally saying it myself. Oh, the irony. Uh, it never fails. I get to the gold at the end of the rainbow, and somebody tries to kill me. Oh, her model looks so good, Torian. Oh, the choreography! Uh oh, they're shooting the thing! <laughs> huh. 
Uh, that nervous laugh. That was yeah, weird. You've done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like some clank stuff. <laughs> okay, that's definitely not good. Yep, the thing's crumbling. Run! No, 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 Th mountain things, yes, yes, mountain things, hold it, hold it. Oh, and then get back up and throw it at Drake's head. That's what you're gonna do, right? Why are you, dude, why are you in a car running away? Come on. <clears throat> okay, I'm rooting for Laura, but how on earth did she get out of there that quickly? <laughs> that makes no sense. Oh, she's got the thing. Uh, don't hit a lady, Nathan Drake. It's not manly. Unless it's self-defense. This isn't self-defense. This is you stealing a thing, and then she's trying to stop you from stealing it. Or take it herself, I guess. Shoot him. Shoot him, then jump. Shoot him, then jump. Whatever. <laughs> oh, he's going to get in the helicopter, isn't he? <gasps> Wait! She made helicopters explode! Make it explode! Make it explode! Please, 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 please! Come on. Make it explode! Throw it! Throw it! Throw it! Yes! Uh. Yeah! Oh, yeah! He's not dead? Come on. Oh! <laughs> Sweet. Oh, come on. I saw scratches on the model when you shot it. Don't even pull that. Oh, that was sweet, though. Laura and Nathan have both displayed impressive feats of strength, durability, agility, and weapon skills. But Laura tended to have edge in every category. Both of them were way stronger than you'd think. Nathan shoved a boulder large enough to weigh 20 tons. That means he literally had mm -hmm. the strength of 10 men. But in Lara's case, she moved several limestone blocks used in the Great Pyramids. Not only did she move them much farther distances than Nathan, but given their size and makeup, these blocks should weigh oh, yeah. 27 tons each. Lara's way tougher too, and has been through things that definitely would have taken Nate out. Like when she was impaled by Rhaegar, but was still able to accomplish everything necessary to survive a hostile island for a week. Nathan suffered a bullet wound in the same That just sounds apartment. painful. And while he powered through the pain for a short time, he soon passed out and was unconscious while under intensive care for three days. Take my word for it, I've been through pretty much everything you can think of, and I'd rather take a bullet hmm. than rebar any day. And that rebar thing happened when Lara was beaten. Later, she got all sorts of combat and survival training from experts. It just looks painful when people squirm around like that, probably because it is painful and pain makes you squirm. Also, when the pressure's really on, Lara manages to always keep a cool head. Much better than Nate. So, you got a plan C? Yeah, floor it. <laughs> on that train. <laughs> What are you, crazy? Nathan Drake did just about everything by the seat of his pants, and eventually, luck always runs out. Yeah, she was just too crafty for him. The winner Woo! is Lara Croft. Great first season four episode. Who's next? Next time on mm. Death Battle. <gasps> DuckTales! Scrooge! Yes! Ah! Go hurricane here in... Duckburg, race cars, lasers, airplanes, it's a duck blur, might solve a mystery, or rewrite history, DuckTales, woo, every day they're out there making DuckTales, woo, sorry, okay, oh, they got Scrooge, if he's fighting Mr. Krabs, I'm gonna flip my lid, he better be fighting Mr. Krabs, no, wait, that might be unfair because Mr. Krabs can, like, lift the entire Krusty Krab. <laughs> that would be ridiculously unfair, but still, Scrooge! He's either fighting Wario or Mr. Krabs. Both would be extremely unfair, but... Scrooge! Uh, <laughs> so cool. So, anyways, Season 4, Episode 1 of Death Battle. I liked it. It was really good. It was amazing. 
such a good start, and I can't wait to see what they do in the future. Already hyped for next fight. Scrooge McDuck! I'm really glad that they're going to use more American cartoons, because they mostly do, like, anime and stuff when they have cartoon characters, but they have American characters this time. They rarely do that. I mean, they had Toph once, but... Eh, they had Bucky, too, but... Eh, I don't know. They need more, in my opinion. And, uh, that's it. Leopold the Brave out. I love the episode. Lara Croft. Woo! Bye.